back at you again with another video. In this video though, we talking rubbers. <laughs> Stop playing. Uh, we talking tires. So I still have the OEM uh, tires on the bike and the bike currently has 5,900, 5,400 miles on it with the original OEM tires that came with the bike. But I'm gonna show you a close up of what the tires look like. Um, I do ride aggressive um, with these current tires. Uh, I'm not afraid to go fast, uh, need be. Uh, but, but I wanna talk to you about uh, some tires I decided to go with. I had some experience with these tires and I think that they're good quality tires. Also, we're gonna go ahead and replace the valve stems. The valve stems that are currently on the bike, they're, they're a hassle to check air and to put air. So I got the 90 degree valve stems so that way I can check my air a lot quicker, a lot easier. And then also, um, it's, it's not as painful to put air in the tires. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so these are the OEM tires. I don't know if I'm tripping, but you see this line right here on the front tire? Like it's all the way along the entire front tire. Like it doesn't stop. Right, and then like when I feel across the circumference of the tire, there's like a bow. Like it, it, it's like a ridge right up in this area where it's, it's round, then it comes, it's, so it's round, then it comes up and it goes down and it comes back up again, right along this area. That same line, well, I clearly need to change out my back tires, but that same line is right here. This is the back tire. Um, and if you look close, like the tire starting to tear. And at some areas, you can start to see the, uh, you can start to see the wire. So I said, no, it's time to get new tires. Now, the struggle I've been having since I got into sport bike riding is how much tire pressure the bike should have. Some people say follow the recommended, which is on the side of the bike, um, which is 36, 42. Other people say follow the manual, same thing, 36, 42. Some say go to the website for these specific tires. The website says, 36 42 but not all riders weigh the same not all riders ride the same and not all areas where the bike is going to be ridden has the same temperature um so with that being said i with a new set of tires i'm going with i'm not going to go by the recommended i'm going to put i'm going to start off with 34 38 and see if i like that riding and if the, the bike is comfortable to me, because like I said, I do ride aggressive and I do ride in a state that is primarily hot for the majority uh, of the time that I'm riding. So let's just go ahead and take these tires off um, just to show you. I do have the OEM valve stems. And the next time you see this, it won't be OEM. It's gonna be 90 degree. I'm hoping that the guy that puts the, oh, I'm gonna take it to a shop to have the tires and valve stems replaced because that's not something I wanna take a chance on. I want the valve stems to face the left side of the bike, the clutch side of the bike. I'm gonna ask if that's something I can get done. If yes, then they'll both be coming this way. I don't like it going towards the right side. All right, let's take these tires off, shall we? All right, so I got my air pump. This is the, the setup that my air pump has, right? It's one of these twist kinds. And then there is the valve stem, okay? Let me show you why, like even just getting to the valve stem, let me try to get a better angle. All right, so just to get to the valve stem, you got this big rotor that's in the way, okay? And then just to get to it, I have to either rotate the wheel, even if I rotate the wheel, it's it's pretty darn difficult to get to it, right? And then, let's say I got the valve, step, the, the valve cap off. To check the tire pressure, let me show you what I gotta go through. So by not being 90 degrees, you gotta be pretty much just, you gotta pretty much have to reach in here and struggle to get this on. And then when I'm done checking, I just dropped the PSI. 
I found myself doing that a lot lately. Like whenever I check my tire pressure, I go over one PSI just so I, because when I take it off, it drops a PSI. Um, and then look, 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 this is the struggle, man. Just to, just to check this. If it was a 90 degree valve stem, I just push it on, twist, and I'm good to go. To take it off, same thing, twist off, and I'm done. It's a good ride. But with these valve stems that Kawasaki made the bike with, they, uh, they do get in the way, in my opinion. So again, I'm gonna have both valve stems facing the clutch side of the bike, and yeah. So let's go ahead and take these wheels off, take it to the nearest bike shop, have the tires replaced. Oh, I recently saw a video about tire tear, and if you look, my turns are pretty aggressive. Like, like look at that, man. This is a lot of tearing in the tire. Like, if you look right here, this is a cold tear. According to this guy's website, I don't know if it's true or not, but see if I can zoom in there. You see that? It's a cold tear. Oh, when I turn the wheel, it gets blurry again. There's another, look, look at all that. This is all cold tear, supposedly. And then on, the, on this side, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's just as bad, like the entire bike. Like you can really see that there's a lot of tear. But my thing is, man, I, I still got some, some life in this tire because the line is there, but the reality is, man, I don't really have much life, especially on this rear tire. But this rear tire has given me um, 5,900, 5, 5,400 miles on this current state. Um, I have not taken the bike to the track yet. I really do want to take the bike to the track, but I'm having a hard time getting myself there. All right, so let's get started. Got to show you guys that uh, I did change out the tires to Dunlop uh, Q3 pluses, um, and I did change out the valve stem, which is there. They're 90 degree. They're not on the clutch side, which is the way I wanted them at first. But then I really thought about it, and I said, you know what? I rather have it on the the brake side. <clears throat> so both valve stems are facing. The brake side which is which is not bad um i actually like it th with this setup and again the tires i decided to go with are dunlop q3 pluses um i've taken the bike out a few times and gone on some pretty aggressive rides as you guys can see i, I do lean pretty pretty far but i learned recently a long time ago actually that this does not mean anything um it's actually not really true. To get your bike to lean over that far is more risk than reward. Um, now to me is all about the technique, which I've been learning to learn to get better at more and more lately. Um, I think in the last video when I was replacing the tires, you saw the stock rear uh, sprocket and I just put in the aluminum rear sprocket. It's a 39 tooth. So that being said, I did take the bike out for quite a few times and been riding and enjoying the bike a little bit. I want to thank you guys for watching this ZX6R tire replacement from Battle Max to some Dunlop Q3 Pluses. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day.